Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting, and we're flying into the caldera of the Scarland Volcano, where I've got a plan, a big plan to transform this volcano and give it some pants. <laughs> That's right, it, it doesn't have legs or a pants, so we're going to finish out the lower terraforming of the volcano, bring in the color and all the details that you would expect from a volcano erupting, that is. So we're gonna do one of the largest terraforming jobs I have ever done, and it's gonna be amazing. Now I'm worried I may have bit off more than I can chew. <laughs> It's uh, gonna be a really, really big project today, but I've been getting a lot of questions on where I've been. It's been a little while since my last Hermitcraft video, and getting ready for TwitchCon and dealing with the healthcare industry has really zapped my ability to make videos lately. So I apologize about that. So hopefully today's video will make up for the lack of them. It's going to be good. It's just, uh, like I said, I may a bit off more than I can chew. What was that, Jelly? That was a really aggressive meow you just made. What is this? Oh my gosh, there's music! And cheering! This is incredible. This must be what Impulse told me he was working on. He said he had something near and dear to his heart. He is an, a drummer extraordinaire. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. So if you're not familiar, at like Disneyland or something like that, they have like the trash can duo that go up and down streets banging trash cans like drums. And this is what that is, or inspired by it, that is. And it's amazing, well done. Genius redstone handyman, Impulse. Oh, I love it. Adds so much energy to the park. Well done. Let's go, let's go. I've got to say, after dealing with some pretty severe health challenges the last week, Walking through Scarland is the best medicine that I've taken. This park puts a smile ear to ear on my face. And every time I walk through here, I just think about, ah, oh, someday you guys are gonna be able to walk through here and hopefully it brings as much joy as it does to me, to you. So that means I've got to get to work. So enjoy this clip of me from the black room of Decked Out as I try to figure out where in the world I'm gonna get all the resources for today's project. Successful run, bombs away. Wow, I haven't died yet. Oh, I got the button. I can hit the button. Oh, he's not looking at me. I'm a dodging, I'm a weaving. Yes, let's go. The first time I've ever beat the dark room. Ha ha, Mr. Fluffakins. Oh, yes, ha ha, take that. Anyway, where's the cake? Okay, hello? Oh, Tango, don't even, don't even tell me the cake's a lie. Oh, how dare thee. There we go, there's my sign. Wow, the cake was a lie, sad face scar. That old tango, Hermocrat's very own Gladys. You know, when you really think about it, Tango is the Hermocraft Gladys. Think about all the challenges and games he makes and then dangles cake in front of our eyes and pulls the wool out from under us. Yep, Tango's Gladys of Hermocraft, but we still love him. So we need to get to work. And the first order of business today is to jump into super fast grind mode and get all the resources we needed. And uh, yeah, um, I have to admit something. I had no idea where to find bath salt or buff salt or boof salt or I have no idea what it's called, but it's in the nether and it's great and it looks great for a volcano. Hit it. Superfast grind mode, and now we've got ourselves the resources needed to start working on the volcano. And doesn't it look amazing? Oh, I'm so excited. And I thank you guys so much for trusting me, by the way. I know it looks super silly, this giant carved out volcano looking thing that is literally floating off the ground. But you guys trusted me, and I'm gonna make sure that that trust 
pays off. Now, Doc gave me permission to take down the barn here so that we have more room and a beautiful sight line here in our Adventures Isle area. And this all of a sudden really opens up this spot for new trees and pathways and a whole lot more that's coming to this area. Not just the volcano, not just the boat ride. I do want to make a haunted mansion and kind of put it in this area right here. And I've got some ideas. I think it's going to look pretty darn cool. You're probably wondering where all the resources are from the Grand Labs. Well, apparently I'm wondering too. There's a bunch of stone. Where's the shulker bottle? Oh. There they are. Oh my gosh, I had a little panic there for a second. But yeah, you can see all the resources that we got for the grind laps to make this build a reality. And that is a lot. So you can really tell this is going to be a big build. So here is my plan. This section right here is going to be a lava flow off the top of the volcano downwards and to the ground level. And hopefully, maybe this will be the entrance to our future boat ride. On this side of the volcano, I want to do a waterfall coming off so we can do like a really cool little stream. That flows out of the children. Oh my gosh, the children. Oh, oh, that scared me. Oh gosh. Can't catch me now, little buddy. <laughs> you can't get me. I can just keep eating these all day long. All day long. Oh. Okay, well, I was just trying to have fun and he had to take it way too serious by killing me. Hey, you give me my boots back. You give me my boots back. <laughs> you give me my boots back right now and my rockets. <laughs> oh, this has gone so horribly wrong. This is just embarrassing at this point. This is embarrassing. I can't have this. I can't have this at all. I'm gonna give you a nice little hot guy. There you go. Take that. Ah. <sighs> Played this game for 10 plus years and can't even defeat a child. As I said, this area is going to incorporate a water stream, a waterfall, and a whole lot more. Now, I was kind of complimenting, or not complimenting, complaining? No, definitely not complaining. Contemplating. There we go. I'm using my big words today. So you're probably wondering what I was contemplating. Well, I was contemplating not doing the backside. That is right. It would be in line with proper theme park construction. If guests can't see it, why spend the money? That's the philosophy with a lot of design, like say Expedition Everest looks great from the front, looks terrible from the back, similar to Cars Land. But I want to design that volcano in 360. What does 360 mean? It means that it is beautiful from every angle, very similar to the way the Matterhorn was designed at Disneyland, where you can view it from all angles. So that's what I'm going to do. Hit it. Super fast build mode and our volcano now has legs and pants on and touches the ground, which finally makes it feel more realistic instead. Oh, wait, don't don't look over here. This is bad. Oh, it's so bad. Turns out I'm not entirely done. I know. I know we'll get there, but this area is where it's going to get interesting. We're going to create a lava field in this zone here. That's why it's, well, not quite done yet. Uh, but if we can look past that, you can see that we have a massive section 
portions of this now complete. Now it is all grass and stone at the moment, but as I said, details will come in phases and we've got this major phase complete where it's touching the ground and it makes me super happy to see that. Now, as I said, we are gonna be working on the lava flow coming out of the top of the volcano and hello, what is this? What do we got here? Oh, it's rockets. I'm like, what the heck is this? Um, but yeah, anyway, this thing will be our lava flow straight down here. And I've got some pretty cool ideas. It's going to be very, very highly detailed, which... <sighs> oh, B-dubs, come get your stupid stinky horses. Will you look at this? The real dragon and the cleaning lady dragon are now friends. This is also probably a bad thing because I don't think that dragon is supposed to be this far away from the flagpole. I think we might be in danger. As I was saying, we're gonna get some really cool details in here as our lava flows down from the very top of the volcano. That is looking so good. I am so happy with the way that came out. And of course, we're going to add so many more details. But before we get to those details, Tango is streaming and wants me to run Decked Out. So let's do a quick run of Decked Out. Scar, I am ready. I'm ready. I appreciate it. What's your what's your plan here? What are you doing? You know, I'm not going to say that I just woke up, but... <laughs> I'm not going to deny it either. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. So survive is your plan. What did yes. you do? I'm going to go in Tango with zero expectations. I like it. Sometimes I come just, in with strategy and plans. Yeah. And this time I'm yeah. just going to go in. Just just let it take its course. Exactly. Also, yeah. Jim looks like the skull on Pirates of the Caribbean as you go down the drop. All right. So I have a moment of clarity. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm considering using it and going down to the hard lands. Ooh. Oh. I'm doing this for you, Tango. I'm going on a hard that, mode. That's, you're making quality content. I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've never succeeded at hard mode. So uh, you will. You will. Or you could just do, you know, medium. Or have you already chosen? I have not. I'm putting my moment of clarity in my box. That goes along with my five sneak, my four stability, okay. my five treasure, and my five ember seekers, making up one of the most mid decks in all of decked out but also i want it to be known from far and wide i have an inadequate deck but it gets the job done because i am still second it's something we all struggle with from time to time yep. it's fine i'm going hard mode i'm using that moment of clarity it's gonna pay off do it it's gonna be Excellent. big hard mode is brutal for me like because i've never succeeded in a hard mode yet you'll be fine you'll be fine you know the back of a level two now have we thought about the yeti yet Tango? Day one. We have uh, day the one. Yeti's on the schedule. All right. I'm gonna give you a little, uh, a little mute, and you'll be good to go. All oh, right. Oh, I was if hoping you were gonna give me tips. I'll be, I'll be right. I'll be back. Okay. Well, I'll be, I'll be here. I'll be in your dungeon. Try Kay. not to die. Can't wait to die. <laughs> Trying to avoid the tracker. Okay. Okay. We heard somebody. We heard somebody. It's right around the corner. We're gonna be smart about this. Okay, big boy's right there. Okay, okay. Hey, oh, uh, uh, indecision. Uh, don't know what to do. Up, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, this way. Um. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. All right, I don't know how blocked he is, but I'm gonna go around. I'm going around, 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 around the Ravager. We go. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, he's still chasing. Why are you chasing, buddy? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a bear to get out of here. We are on hard mode, so the likelihood of me making it out is quite low. All right, let's get some berries and we get a key. Priority is always berries over key at the start because, oh, oh, let's go, <laughs> let's go. My luck is at my side. We're gonna make Tango so proud right now. Actually, if, if I win it on hard mode, am I gonna make him proud or am I gonna make him mad? Because Tango loves to see us suffer. That man loves to see a hermit suffer. He is, as I said, real life Gladys. I hate so much the things that you choose to be, Ravager. We could be friends. I could ride you. But no, you choose to be the way you are. Now I have to go all the way around. That's a pain. Moment what the heck clarity. did I just see? I just saw a Ravager up here. Wait, am I hallucinating? Oh my gosh, what did I just see? I swear I saw a Ravager standing here. Whoa, I'm dungeon hallucinating. Sneak. Okay, so it's definitely pointing that way. Oh boy, this is where map knowledge is gonna really come into play. And uh, 
Level two, not so great on the map knowledge. We got this, we're strong, we're powerful, we're nimble. Okay, we're gonna grab that berry. Okay, where's Willie? Oh my gosh, what's he doing up there? He's, he's on a water slide. Willie's on a water slide. <laughs> Willie's on a water slide. Okay, focus up, focus up, focus up, focus up. I'm knocking every shracker in this entire building. Hi, can I go this way? Are you, you're gonna be cool? You and me, strangers in the night. Let's go! Let's freaking go! That was parkour hardcore! Shoot, there's Willie and his trident. Two hits and I'm done. Oh my gosh, what do I do? This is how I die every time I get stuck. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, the speed, the precision, the accuracy. Oh, my old swimming techniques are coming in strong. <gasps> Wait, it's not on the ship. Oh my gosh, do you think I could actually pull this off? This is great. This is fantastic. It's not on the ship. I might be able to do it. Please, this is it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's the pocket watch. It's sweepy! Okay, okay. All right, I need some deep breaths here. Okay, we can do this. We can go the exact same route that we just came. Okay, I just, we're a little bit worried about where Willie is. Willie? Willie is, not Willie. Not Willie. Oh my gosh, Willie, come on now, man. You gotta, you gotta leave a man alone. You can't just come up at me like that. That's not, that's, that's not cool. Oh, how are we gonna get past that? I gotta get this pocket watch of sweeping. Hey, Tango, got any tips for me? Okay, we got this. This is our daring escape. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Willie's here. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he got us. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna heal up real quick and we're gonna literally jump over his head. Oh my gosh, come on. Dodge and weave and I think we dodged to weave that trident. We're home, we're home free. We're home free. 36 point artifact. Ooh, a coin. And we're gonna bring it home. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're swimming for our lives right now, everybody. We're swimming for our lives. Oh, what, what in the world? That was a firework. That's a firework. What is going on today? What is going on? You saw that, didn't you? Something's up. Anyway, I, why is there so many Shrackers going Shrack Shrack in here? Okay, regardless, let's heal. Let's make up a plan. We've got the pocket watches. <laughs> what the heck? Where did the Vex come from? I had plenty of time. There's no way I was at Max Clank. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, we lost the pocket watch of Sweepy. Scar! Ha! Ah, scare me! Oh, hello! <laughs> Why do you pick this run to be the most amazing decked out player ever? <laughs> what? I don't know what happened. What did I do? I didn't win, oh. so how am I good? I'm not good. I didn't win. What happened? Uh, we will meet you. Meet, meet me down to the storage room at your convenience. Uh oh. Or Why that I saw. Why are so good at this game? <laughs> you tell me that I actually won this whole time. Oh, good. Sure. Yeah, you're amazing. Oh, huh? you, did, oh wait, no, 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 you died. You died getting out, didn't you? No, I I totally rode a Ravager to victory. Didn't. That's what I did. And there was cheering and great jubilation. I did get a pocket watch <sighs> of Sweepy. And, I know, I know, I didn't I know. know the Vexes were out. That seemed to go quick. Like you were clanking it up like crazy. What, really? Did I do a lot of clanking? There was some clanking, there was some clanking. The Vex, the Vex uh -huh, just came out uh -huh. of nowhere and I was like, oh, yeah. what? Come do you know how to get down to my storage room? Of course, I bugged you for your, for an entire year exactly. going down this hole. All right, come on down here. Come on down. Man, I missed the prices right. <laughs> you monster, what in the world? Now I'm going up a water slide. <laughs> Was that your Ravager holding pen? What was going on, on over down, there? It's, safe. it's not safe at all. There's there's two it's a Ravagers. It's percent safe. There's two Ravagers. Oh! Hi. Wait. Wait. Hey, hi, I'm here. <laughs> hi. What are those well, dangling? Why are you going so fast? Those aren't. What? You've got these like dangly <laughs> bits under your legs. Hey, those are your electrodes. We don't talk about my dangly bits, all right? <laughs> We tried to catch you. You're so fast running through the dungeon. Wow. <laughs> You're like, oh, look at that. I got the first key. Oh, look at that. I got the second key. Django, can I put this in my toy shop? Yes, Oh, my you goodness. Can. They look amazing. They I look know. amazing. Isn't it Small. incredible? You didn't see us at all? When I was in the tunnel, well, no, we... I started going on about how I thought I was hallucinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. Were you the one in the dripstone cave? Like the dripstone area, or was that just an actual Ravager? Uh, yep, yeah, we us. were in the dripstone. <laughs> How did you... You got a key so fast. You got your artifact so fast. 
This is my luck, speed right? Demon. I, speed I demon. always yeah, get the I artifact know. on hard mode. Like I, uh, like yeah. probably almost every single time. I never get past the pirate ship ever. Uh -huh. and it happened again. I never get out of the pirate ship. Well, this time, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not your oh, fault. Well. I was tricked and bamboozled in the deck down, and I was wondering how in the world those Vex got me that fast. Well, those fools were rifling around in the dungeon, causing all sorts of clanking left and right. But we did get these super sweet hats. Look at how cool these look. Best of all, I'm a straight up flying ravager. <laughs> this looks amazing. Look at it go. Look at me go. I'm literally a flying ravager. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Look at it go. Oh, you can see the, you can see my hands. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to crash. I'm going to crash. Oh, okay. We caught it. We caught it at the last second. Okay. That made up for the fact that I didn't get my um, pocket watch of Sweepy. that is. I present to you the Scarland Volcano with its craggly top and its lava flowing down the side of the volcano. I love this. Look at all the detail, especially the lava flowing down. There are so many cool things. There are a few things missing, like trees, the waterfall and river right here, but those will all come but let's take a look at what we've got. So this is the lava runoff field. And I think this looks super, super cool. You can see where the lava is dried up, but now there's a new flow coming it down. And the closer we get to the mountain, the more lava. <laughs> this was very tedious and time consuming to put down, but it tells the proper story of that this was a dormant volcano that has arisen once again and is erupting. So we have the lava flowing down here. You can see all sorts of little incredible details. Now, eventually this will be a line that will lead to our boat ride. And I'll put more glass down here so you don't burn your feet on the Bernie blocks. But as you can see, if we can fly that is, this lava goes all the way to the top of the volcano. And there is still a lot more to go in the interior here. Of course, we need to make this volcano erupt and the waterfall I said out front along with the trees. But we've got a huge, huge start on completing this volcano like it now feels like a volcano like look at that that's a volcano instead of just a weird floating tree stump look at that scarland has another landmark and of course that is the landmark of our adventures isle area of the park we have our fantasy we have our adventure and eventually we'll have our sci-fi area complete but this just gets me so excited about all the possibilities of this area. And remember, I do want to do a haunted mansion. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life. Appreciate y'all. Love you. Thank you for watching. Yep. Yep. They've been on such a roll that I feel like they can't go wrong with this. And you ever get that feeling like something's behind you? Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs>